Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Paul Duffy, an AWS Solution Architect. Hi, Jeff. Welcome. So let's talk a little bit about what being a Solution Architect is all about. Well, and I would say this, I think it's a great job. Solutions Architects get to work with customers who want to know more about the AWS Cloud or who potentially want to deploy their applications in the AWS Cloud. And they get to explain to customers how they can use all of these building blocks and how they can have a successful deployment, one that's secure, reliable, that scales appropriately, and is going to meet those needs. At what point in a customer's use of AWS is it best to start with the Solution Architect's help? Well, the best thing to say is the earlier the better. And that might be, given that Solution Architects don't just go and work and talk to customers, they also do things like write white papers, they might go and talk at a conference. Okay. Now, what kind of training or background does a typical Solution Architect have on our team? It's a real range. I mean, some Solutions Architects have come from smaller environments where they've, they've worked in startups and they've maybe done a lot of work in, in AWS. Other solutions architects have spent a lot of time working in enterprise environments, and then we've got people on the team who have specializations in things like big data, so they've done a lot of stuff with Elastic MapReduce and so on, and things like that. I do actually think a lot of our architects came out of our AWS community. Yes, and that's the case. I mean, a bunch of people in the team, I mean, they've worked in companies who've used AWS, and they kind of like it, they like it so much they wanted to come and join the team so they could work with many customers who wanted to do stuff with AWS. Okay. Now, how do you personally keep up with AWS and make sure that you, you have to be essentially one step ahead of our customers? How do, you, how do you do that? Well, you have to be very interested in learning. You basically have to do a lot of hands-on stuff, a lot of reading. Now, one of the things the solutions architects do is they might be involved in writing some of the white papers, writing some of the reference architectures that appear on the AWS website. But then there's a lot of time people are spending that if a new service is coming out, they're spending time doing hands-on stuff with it. So by the time they're going to talk to a customer, they've done some stuff. So what kind of customer successes have we seen as a result of having our Solution Architects team? Well, there are kind of too many to, to name individually, but one I'll call out because I just think it's cool is recently the, the NASA, the Curiosity rover that uses AWS technology to achieve some of the stuff that it does. And to me, that's one of the, how cool is it to work on something that's landing on Mars? Certainly. Now, how did the team help out? Well, one of the things that the um, Curiosity rover does is it has to send data back from Mars to be processed on Earth and then make tactical decisions about the next thing that's going to happen. That's kind of fairly difficult. Mars is a long way away. No data centers on Mars at this stage. So the data gets sent back to Earth and then using some of the kind of the elastic scale that's in the AWS cloud, this can be processed very quickly. Tactical decisions can then be made by the people who are on Earth and then it's transmitted back. So instead of having to have a whole bunch of servers that are sitting in a data somewhere, waiting to do work, we can use this kind of elastic capacity, do the work, and then send it back up to Mars. Well, I've really enjoyed speaking with you and hope this would inspire some of our audience to want to also be solution architects. Well, Thanks I hope so, so much for coming by. We'd love to hear from them. Bye. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.